Okay, I know everybody's excited about the new cow keychain cutouts, and so I just want to do a quick tutorial on how I put them together. Um, you need pliers. I like to use an eight millimeter jump ring. Your cutouts, either with or without the fringe. I This isn't necessary, but I love it. It's a um, jump ring ring. You can find them on um, Amazon. They're just a couple of bucks. This one came with this set of jump rings. I'll put a link in it the comments um, and then leather glue if you are putting the fringe on these are one inch key rings off of Amazon let's see in a couple of colors here and I'll put links to everything I'm using except these because I don't remember where I got them okay so we'll start with the black one because it's not the fringe If I don't drop all my jump rings. Okay, so you really want to open the jump ring up nice and wide. And I know you're not supposed to, but I pull them sideways too, not just front and back. Put it through however you're going to put it. Fold your keychain. Make sure y'all can see me. Okay, and then what I do is start threading it through. And I go from the back. And on one side at a time, because that's easier than trying to line up everything all at once. And a lot of times I don't use the pliers for this part because it's just a pain. Okay, and get it through all three layers. Getting that last bit is the hardest. That last, that third layer. You really have to kind of twist it around. I'm going to try to keep it where y'all can see this. All right, so there's that one. You just thread it through. Okay, if I can get it to go through all the way. Come on now. Please behave. Oh, kiddos are home from school. Da, da, da. This has been difficult. Just a second, kid. This jump ring is being difficult. Yeah, give me just a minute, kid. There we go. I have to bend it around. Somebody on Facebook said that they were gluing the layers and then putting the jump ring through. I have not tried that yet. Um, you want to try it now? That may be easier. I have mangled this jump ring. Today, you want to try today? Yeah, I'll probably try it later. All right, so there we go, and I just kind of fold it over on itself. All done, Brianna. Please, all right, so it's the same process for. I'm gonna try one of these thicker jump rings. Yeah, this is a million. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a minute, kiddo. I'll turn the TV on. Okay, so same process. I think it's a little bit easier with these sturdier jump rings, personally, but I couldn't find them in all the pretty colors that I wanted. Just a minute, get off. There we go. Yeah, much easier with the thicker jump rings. Just a minute. In a minute. I'm about to cry. Almost got. There we go. 
Yep, definitely easier with these thicker jump rings. I'll put a link to this. They only come in silver, but they are nicer jump rings. Then, where are my clips? I have too many projects going over here. Where are my clippies? Somebody move my clippies. Oh. Well, probably me. I tend to hide things from myself. Okay, and then a little bit of glue on this part. And I like to do the uh, fringe wrong side out. That way it actually looks like hair. And you can play with placement on this. Some people like the whole face covered. I like it a little bit further back. But not enough that they're, they have a bad hair day. Kind of have to play with it. And then I just wipe the excess glue off with a paper towel. And I use, these are quilting clips. I got them on Amazon. They're knockoff wonder clips. And I just clip it down and leave it for about two hours. Make sure it's good and dry. And that's how I make the keychains.